Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amal's Academy. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about NumPy library and what we can do using that library. Today also we are continuing the discussion on that NumPy library. So Python stores data in several different ways, but the most popular methods are list and dictionaries. And these arrays are also a data structure which is used to store the data. And as I said in the previous tutorial, these arrays are similar to list. So in this tutorial, we'll see how these arrays and lists are similar, how they are different and what are the advantages of arrays over this list. So first we'll see the similarities between the list and NumPy arrays. So first is both are used for storing data. So we'll use list to store the data as well as we'll use array to store the data. Second is both are mutable. So list is mutable as well as array. So we can add any element or remove element from the list or array after creating that. And third point is both can be indexed and iterated through. So we can access the values through index. And fourth point is both can be sliced. We can do slicing operation using both. So these are the similarities between list and numpy array. Next we'll see the difference. So first lists are containers for elements having different data type, but arrays are used as container for elements of same data type. So we use list to store different data type element. We can store different data type elements in list, right? We can store int float strings in a single list. But in arrays, we need to store same type of data. If you are storing integer value, then you need to store integer value. If you are storing floating value, then you need to store floating value. You can't have different data type in a single array. And the another difference between list and array is the operations that you can perform to them. Uh, for example, you can divide an array. You can apply that division operation on the all the elements of an array. But if you try to do that on list, you will get error. For example, here I'll create array. So here I'll import numpy and I'll give array name as a and uh, numpy dot array function. And here I'll take Okay, now a is an array. So if I do a division three, all right, so it will divide all the elements of array. So we can do this operation here on array. But if I try to do this on a list, so we'll get error. Okay, so this is the difference between list and uh, numpy array. And the last difference is to use numpy arrays, you need to import numpy libraries. And for that, we need to install numpy libraries. But list is built in, no need to install anything. We can just directly use that. So these are the difference between the numpy arrays and list. Next, we'll see the advantages of the array over the list. Arrays consumes less memory and arrays are fast compared to the Python list numpy arrays. Here I'm talking about the numpy arrays and numpy arrays are more convenient to use. So these are the advantages of array over the list. So here we talked about the similarities between list and numpy array, difference between list and numpy arrays as well as advantages of numpy arrays. So in the next tutorial, we will discuss more about this. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.